hey guys welcome back so guys uh, we were till now like adding the products so after adding the product we want to retrieve the products right so guys for that we will start coding now okay so guys till now we are over here to retrieve the products whatever we are fetching i mean stored inside the products table so for that i will just show you what are those columns so as you can see these are the columns like category ids and name description image so these are some few products tables data okay so we are going to fetch some of it so i just want to take that product name and that which product belong to which category and the name image and then one show head status one and then action so guys let's start with that as simple you can see a normal tr tag we will upload okay so tr we'll hit it tr and then td table data so inside this we will loop the data so as first step um you can see that products you are less called right so let's copy this and go to our routes web.php so inside route web.php we will move and there we are going to um, search that route okay so here is this route and this is the controller right so let's go to inside admin product controller let's go to app http not expressions controller where we are going to find admin controller and the product controller so let's click on that so this is our controller so at where it is going you can see in this route at index function we are moving that so this is our index function and now uh, we are going to call that products details so let's create products variable is equal to your products your products model colon where we are going to put a condition like where are yaar let's put this until where and get function right so let and nice and now what we are going to do um let's call the status if status is not equal to 3 3 this we are using for deleted data right so that we will show over here cool so guys now let us pass this uh, variable to our main home page i mean product page with the product variable we are assigning to this variable okay so now let's go to this page index right now we are here now so now guys we will use for each loop for each and inside this collections we have to put our products variable where item is called so now uh, paste over here and this is our tr tag first thing we need a id so because we have mentioned id so dollar item of id <coughs> excuse me so guys then name na mean name as per your um product table uh, columns okay name is there then sub category id is there right so we need that sub category id let me mention over here sub category name okay you can mention this sub underscore category underscore id see i'll show you what happens over here and then one more column called image image so this image will be like uh, we have to call the path of that stored image so the stored image you can see in the product controller whatever we are assign the path for storing it so it's inside uploads folder inside products so let us paste that you can call oops just ignore that you call a set function inside single quote put forward slash and then 
concatenate the name so let's concatenate it the upload is saved and let's check that image path is i m a g e okay cool so image name is correct and then you have to include this one into your um, image tag right so let us cut this and call the img img tag where src inside src we will call the path and this will be product image cool so now finally we are going to show one checkbox so that checkbox we can check from other also because we have already taken that so i'm just going to take that checkbox over here let's close this and we'll paste it item status if it's one it will be checked or else it will be null simple and the final one for the action where we are going to assign with a tag which will be known as edit and delete great and let's give a class for them class button button info and we'll give a class for this also class is equal to button button for delete we'll mention as danger save it save and let's load the page and let's see the output okay so let's see if any error comes or not okay no errors so guys everything is perfect and yeah guys so let's make this little small and this button size also so it will just mention a badge over here b e d g e badge copy and paste and image size is too big so we'll tell width is equal to 60 pixel 60 pixel reload it okay so it's coming perfect but guys i just wanted to take that exact name of this subcategory name not id so you can do a relationship i mean yeah a relationship of one to one okay so let's go to there inside app model your product model over here you can go at the bottom and start your relationship for product to subcategory so guys let's create a public function public function where i will tell subcategory function name and return return in return dollar this belongs to belongs to relationship we are going to use and we will call the class first so this class belong to sub category category class where colon class class and your foreign key with your sub category table id so this will be the foreign key foreign key which is that over here you can see subcategory id copy that and paste over here so this will be the foreign key and this will be the subcategory id so this subcategory id is from this model cool so let's copy this variable i mean function copy that subcategory and go back to your page and paste that and call that table name okay so let's save that let's reload if it is name means it will show name otherwise null cool so mi brand it's showing so this red mi note 7 pro belongs to mi brand so guys now in this video that's it and next video we'll be learning about how to edit this data okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share